Time now for a check of our weather meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch here now with our first alert forecast. I hope you are sleeping in. Yes, <laughs> going to do my best to do exactly that tomorrow, especially because it's still going to be, you know, a little raw, a little damp out there early mm -hmm. in the day. Not a washout tomorrow, not like this afternoon, but we could see a few showers tomorrow afternoon, maybe even a couple of snow showers. Let's uh, look at the total, shall we? What we've racked up so far. Booton, New Jersey has picked up over two and a half inches in the park about one and a tenth inches live outside right now we still have rain falling in the city it's raw at 48 winds are out of the east northeast at six miles per hour several rivers that have warnings associated with them for flooding most forecast to get to minor flood stage but at the Passaic River at Pine Brook here we anticipate moderate flood stage as far as the coast is concerned during tomorrow morning's high tide cycle we could see minor coastal flooding. If you're under an advisory in the brighter green, it's a foot over land possible. And then in the green, it's more of a one to two foot inundation possible during your high tide cycle tomorrow. Now the winds got breezy early tonight. They've started to subside somewhat, but Sunday into Monday, gusts will be 40 to 55 miles per hour. It is going to feel and be colder out there. Temperatures start dropping tomorrow afternoon. Right now we look at the satellite and radar picture for some good news. First and foremost, we are looking at the back of this steady, heady, heavy rain lifting almost into northeastern New Jersey right now. So not much more before we're done with the steady activity for tonight around one o'clock. It's wrapping up to the east. However, for those of you on the island, we did have some thunderstorm activity here. Some more bouts of heavier rain. This is where the heavy rain lasts longest east of the city. It's about one a.m. before you really start to reduce the sound of rain coming down onto the roofs there. Bigger picture, well, there is still some activity here to the west, but truthfully, we're going to see things wind down pretty rapidly as we approach tomorrow morning. Here we are at 1.30. You see the heaviest rain is out of here. Still some showers possible. At daybreak tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds, possibly some showers, but it should feel a lot less damp out there than it has tonight. Now, as we roll through your Sunday, what we'll see are the clouds sticking around and then some afternoon showers sweep across the region, maybe some snow showers as well. Temperatures drop through the afternoon and then we have a better bet of seeing some snow showers closer to the city. For Monday, the winds are still cranking, gusting 40 to 55 miles per hour. Highs on Monday in the 40s will feel like the 30s. As we make our way overnight at 1 a.m., it's still raining east of the city. It's 50 and breezy. By 4 a.m., 49, still some showers and breezy. 7 a.m., it's mainly cloudy, 46 degrees to start your day. By tomorrow afternoon, 51 degrees. This actually happens around the noon hour, then temperatures fall through the afternoon. Again, we can't rule out some rain and snow showers tomorrow afternoon, and it will be windy. Winds gusting again, 40 to 55 miles per hour. Your wind chills Monday morning will be in the teens and 20s because those winds will be cranking. Sunshine in 47 feels like the 30s Monday afternoon, and then it's a beautiful warm up into the midweek, and we're pushing into the 60s by work weeks end. Looking forward to that, son, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.